The election is over. What should investors do now? My belief is that your plan should not have a drastic change after the Trump win, but there may be small changes to keep an eye on. The first thing I would tell people is to be careful chasing proposed winners or selling potential losers this early in the game. Ultimately, we don't know exactly what policy changes he will be able to implement. And also, we don't even know at this point who will fill his cabinet. We were bullish on financials before the Trump win, but now that he will be entering office, the group will likely benefit from a more relaxed regulatory environment compared to the current administration. Regional banks in particular look like they could be big beneficiaries here. But be careful, as many already had a big first day move after the election results. I'll tell you, I was somewhat surprised to see big tech as a big winner as well. But it seems in today's world, everything is good for big tech. If you have been following us, you know we are skeptical of many of these big tech companies due to excessive valuations. And frankly, I just don't see how a Trump presidency would be overly positive for the group. I don't think it'd be negative, but I don't think it'll be overly positive as well. Especially considering both Trump and VP elect JD Vance have been critical of the group in the past. I would not be surprised to see continued regulatory pressure for some of these companies, even after the change in the White House. Healthcare, well, that's also an interesting sector with Robert F. Kennedy Jr., obviously also known as RFK, being a large part of the Trump campaign, considering his criticisms of vaccines and the food system as well. While this is something to keep your eye on, I don't believe the group is completely doomed. And in fact, I think you could find some opportunities if stock prices continue to be pressured. Green energy, well, of course, that is another area and the crosshairs. And many of these companies saw large declines after the results. While this may be an area of concern if the Inflation Reduction Act, also known as the IRA, is repealed, I believe investors may be able to find some good opportunities if these businesses can maintain profits, especially considering, considering our need for more energy. At this point in time, I would wait for more clarity on that space as changes to tax credits could totally disrupt the current earnings picture for many of these businesses. I'd say be patient on that group. Opportunities could come next year. I wouldn't be fishing around now. Overall though, you may be excited or disappointed with the results, but ultimately the strategy of investing in good quality companies at fair prices over the long term should not change. I'm Chase Wilsey with Wilsey Asset Management and stay ahead in the investment world by subscribing to our YouTube channel and weekly newsletter for the latest economic news, expert analysis, and market insights.